Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today I'm coming at you guys with a very different type of video. So I do a lot of review videos here on the channel. I've reviewed a lot of different products, game drives, mini PCs, full-on PCs, gaming PCs, game consoles in some cases, just tons and tons of different products. And I pride myself on honesty and transparency. I think that's the only way to go when doing content like this. I'm reviewing stuff and trying to just show you guys what my experience is like so you can gauge whether these products are right for you or whether you should look elsewhere for a different option. So something came to my attention the other day, actually from one of you guys, a viewer here on the channel that reached out to me directly and said, hey, I saw your um, face on this website and um, it says that you reviewed this product. I saw little clips of the review video, but I can't locate the full video on your channel. So I looked into this a little further. They provided a link to me and it turns out it's a website that I've never heard of and certainly never reviewed the product of, yet they're using my face to actually basically endorse their product. So I started to dive into this a little bit more and that's why I wanted to reach out to you guys and show you guys what's going on because I tried to contact this website, tried to get to the bottom of this as to why you know portions of a review video that I filmed are being clipped and put on their website to basically again endorse their product. I've reached out to them multiple times. They've not gotten back to me, not contacted me in any way, shape or form. So um, unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be an honest or transparent sort of situation by any means. And I want to address it so you guys know that um, you know I have no knowledge of this product. I have no experience with this product. So I'm going to show you guys what I saw. Um, we have everything laid out here. And this is from Brandy, who is a viewer here. She uh, shared all this information with me. So really appreciate that. Um, so here is the website that she linked me to. It's called Arcadian. Well, that's the name of the um, the company here. Uh, and the website is shoparcadian.com. And I want to point this out. I'm not showing you guys the website. So you flood this website with um, orders. That's certainly not the case. But I also don't want you to reach out to them and give them a hard time or anything like that either. That's not the point of this video. The point is to continue to be honest and transparent and to just make everybody aware as best I can that I'm not affiliated with this company or this product in any way. I've never reviewed it. Uh, I have no confirmed knowledge of it at all. And I will elaborate on what I suspect is going on here momentarily, but here's the website. Looks very much retro gaming oriented. We got Sonic here, we've got Crash over here. This is the product, um, comes with two controllers. We've got a promo here for Black Friday, 150 bucks. Um, and it seems to include games. So as I scroll down here, I see myself. So I immediately know what Brandy was talking about and what the concern was here because it's a two minute and nine second video. No review video I've ever produced has been anywhere near that short. Um, I'm typically around 25 to like 45 minutes for a in-depth review on various product types. So let's take a look at this product. But first and foremost, I'm holding in my hand this console with the logo and everything on there. So notice it, that I'm holding it here in the initial shot. But let's play the video. And I guarantee you, you'll never see me holding this product because I have no knowledge of it whatsoever. In terms of setups like this, the most important part, obviously, aside from convenience, we want to have an easy user friendly experience here when things are advertised as plug and play as they are here and everything is truly plug and play. I didn't have to go in and adjust settings or anything like that. Um, we obviously want to have though great performance. We want to be able to go into games and have a good experience when we try to play the games. All your early stuff, your Atari, Genesis, Master System, all that stuff, Game Gear, etc., works extremely well to the point where I didn't even bother including it here in the gameplay portion of this video because everything just ran extremely well. And PlayStation performed extremely well. PSP actually performed very well. Now notice there's some rough cuts in here and I'm not Spielberg with my editing by any means here on the channel, but my cuts are a little bit smoother than that. Um, and I don't just say this was good, that was good, you know, this was good and move on. I, I elaborate in my reviews as to why uh, I usually give examples as to what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, just much more thorough than this. Well, we jumped into Tekken 6, and yes, there's a little hiccup here and there, um, but for the most part, the experience was quite good. Uh, it wasn't an experience where it left me looking for something more. You know, for the budget here and for what you get, I think that the performance for PSP was quite good. Dreamcast ran extremely well. 
Um, what else? Sega Naomi, quite well as well. Now this does come with two controllers. They're PlayStation style controllers. They're not top of the line by any means, but they get the job done. They're good starter controllers. With this, you can also do save states. You can save your progress in your games, which is great. The resolution on here looks very good for your games. Um, and this also has everything forced to 16-9 aspect ratio by default. Some people like that 4-3 uh, aspect ratio. I personally, playing on modern day TVs, I like to try to force things to 16-9 where I can. There's gonna be some titles that don't look as good on 16-9 aspect ratio, usually your older stuff, but here, everything does look very good. So I will say that the resolution on here is really, really smooth, really a great experience here. So certainly take this information, weigh out the pros and cons, see if this is the right fit for you, see if this is going to include exactly what you're looking for in your retro gaming experience. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All right, so we can see that was put together, spliced together from a actual review video that I did. But again, notice at no point in the actual video do I hold up that console, which if we go over here and we scroll down, I'm clearly holding here in the actual thumbnail for the video. But when we play it, that you know little scene that you see there, the still that you see from, from the video is nowhere in the actual video. So um, I believe they took a different console and they placed their logo over the top of it to make it look like I'm reviewing their product. So everything on here is false because even if I reviewed this product, which I did, and I'm going to talk about momentarily, I didn't review this exact product. I didn't review anything with Arcadia on there um, and or Arcadian on there. And you know, this could differ significantly from the actual product that I reviewed. Um, so I dove into this a little further and went through my older videos and I found that I did this video right here. This is the uh, Game Grid 2 emulation game console review. And we're in the middle of an ad here. Let me just skip ahead. All right, guys. So I just skipped ahead past that little um, advertisement there. And here you can see this is pretty much this, the same exact shot that we're seeing over on the Arcadian website literally the exact same shot they paused it at this moment they took it they wiped out the game grid logo and they put arcadian's logo over the top of it so this is a 25 and a half minute or excuse me almost 26 minute review video i'm very in depth with this one um, and you see here i took out all of the links on here and the reason i did that is because i had an issue with game grid in the past where there's two different websites that popped up supposedly selling the same brand, but people were not receiving the exact same console. They were receiving completely different versions, depending on which website you bought from. So I started diving into this a little bit further. So here we have Game Grid's, one of Game Grid's websites, and it's identical to this one over here, other than the fact that it has a different logo on here. Um, and both of these are live websites. You can order products from them, and they both have a video of me. Arcadian's website has a two minute and nine second video. Game Grids has a five minute and three second because they don't have to cut out the parts where I actually hold the console and talk about it. Arcadian does because I'm not holding their product. So these could be, one of these is a copy. Probably this one is copying this one. They've recreated the same website or they're the same people selling two different consoles with different branding, which doesn't make much sense at all. But I have no idea what's going on here, but it's definitely sketchy as hell. And notice that Arcadian's website isn't going to have, um, I believe this is, I forget his name, I think it's Johan. Um, they're not gonna ha highlight him because they can't edit that out. That clearly says Game Grid 2 on it. So over here, they, they, there's nothing they can do about that. But the box looks the same other than it doesn't have the logo on it, right? Same, you know, the color scheme is a little different. That could be the, that could be, uh, you know, the camera changing the coloration. Could be a bunch of things there. Looks to be identical products, though. But let's get out of this website. Or actually, let me open another window. Go to Google. And if we type in Game Grid, one other interesting thing is that that was, which website is that? That is Shop Game Grid, which has my picture next to it for the entire website um, on Google. We have Game Grid Official over here, which I believe this is the website that I bought the product from originally. Completely different website over here. 
Um, nothing about this is the same except for the logo. So it's the same logo, but completely different website. And notice that this one, which I believe is the Game Grid official, only sells Game Grid 2. They don't have a handheld, they don't have any other options, but this website here has the Game Grid Portable. Arcadian has two additional products. They have the Arcadian Pro, which is what they call this, you know, this product that I supposedly reviewed. They have the Arcadian Portable and they have the Arcadian Lite, which is one of those HDMI um, fanless consoles you just plug into the HDMI port of your TV and then you power it via a USB connection and you're good to go. This one, again, only has the Game Grid 2 and you can buy extra controllers for it. This is what I believe I actually reviewed. This is the price point for it as well. So I don't know if, I don't know the, the backstory here. These guys over here copied these guys um, and then created their own side brand to compete against themselves. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Or is this just somebody copying these guys who copied these guys? I don't freaking know. It's such a disaster. But I reviewed one product called the Game Grid 2. Um, I don't know where it originated from. This one is called... This one's called a Game Grid 2. This one's called a Game Grid 2. This one's clearly not called a Game Grid 2, but we can't have three people making the same exact product. There's no way that you can... It's hard enough to have quality control with one, you know, one warehouse making one product. It's impossible to have quality control with three different places making you know, the same, potentially the same product. It's just impossible. So... I have no idea what's going on, but I don't want to be at all responsible for urging anybody to purchase this product that I've never, you know, even if it's the same shell that they swapped out the logo, how do we know it's the same, um, you know, has the same components within it? How do we know it has the same games within it? We have no idea. I have no idea. I've only bought one thing from one site. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be taking that video down, the Game Grid 2 video, and just making it private so nobody can watch that video on my channel and look at it and say, hey, this is um, Retro Gaming Guy reviewing this product, and then they go to one of these sites, and maybe they get the right one, maybe they don't. I don't even know what the right website is 100% here. So I'm taking that video, making it private, so nobody will be um, mis potentially misled by it at all. I don't know who's who. I don't know who's behind any of this stuff, but I honestly don't care. I just don't want to be connected with it. And unfortunately, these aren't, you know, these aren't within my control. I can't make them take this down. You know, I mean, I could threaten them, but I'm sure they're not even in the United States. So, you know, who's going to enforce that? Nobody. Uh, it is what it is. That's kind of what happens when you're on YouTube and your videos are readily available to the whole world. But I just wanted to to announce it to you guys and make you guys here on the channel aware that I don't know what the hell is going on here, but you know, apparently I'm promoting products I've never tested out now. So it's a crazy world sometimes, but just wanted to make you guys aware. Let me know what you guys think of this mess in the uh, comment section. If you have any advice for me, feel free to share it with me. Maybe there's a uh, different way I could approach this, but at this point, I'm just going to make that video private distance myself from, you know, all this mess, but I want to, I'll probably leave it up for a little while just so you guys can, you know, see the difference here for the time being, but I will be, you know, making it private in the near future, probably after this weekend. So let me know in the comment section what you thought of this mess of a uh, situation here with these three, potentially three companies um, selling potentially the same product or appearing to sell the same product. Uh, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. See you on the next one.